Hi, peace be to you, dear friends. Two days before, I mean Sunday, that was Father's Day. Morning, my elder daughter, Adona, who passed 12th recently and trying to get admission in college, she came and asked me, Chacha, suppose if a boy come and say, I love you to me, or suppose if I felt love to a guy, and I feel that he is my soulmate and I, I need him throughout my life, uh, what should I respond and how should I respond? That was the question from Adona. And you know how I answered? Uh, thank God she has that freedom to ask me. You know, being father, sometimes uh, usually the parents don't allow the children to discuss this kind of subject. Uh, but since she has a lot of freedom to me, she asked me, uh, in fact, she said that I have a love affair. Uh, that's why I don't know what to do with this. So please tell me that. I said about Helen Fisher, an anthropologist, who said, every human being falls in love at least three times in their life. 98% of the men and women, they will meet three lovers at least in their life. And then she asked me, what are the three? I said, the first one is from the school time, from 7th, 8th or 9th or 10th or 11th or 12th, you will have an attraction to a boy or the boy will have an attraction to you. That is pure lust. Because there is a lot of rapid biological changes in you, so you are curious to know the body of opposite sex. Not only that, that time your logic is hijacked by the sex hormones called estrogen, testosterone or dopamine etc. So your logic will not work. You will say that this person is my life and I need this person throughout my life. But let me tell you Adona, this is not going to work out because this first love will end very soon. That will end maybe after a hug or after a touch you will lose that intimacy and then the separation will happen. And there will be a small scar of the separation for every individual. They will forget initially. Then she asked me, what about the second love? I said, the second one is compassionative love. That is something very beautiful. You know what happened? When you are in college, a boy or a girl will find you out and they will make you understand the real you in you because you have a lot of potentialities that may be like you, you, you are able to play the organs or piano or you, are, you, you may be able to sing well or you may be able to write well, you may be able to preach well and even your father may not understand your talents but this person who loves you really will find out all the good qualities in you and will cherish that and will uplift you. Not only that, sometimes when you are sad and when you are in tears, that person will come to wipe out your tears and to support you, to help you, to hug you, you know. But there is nothing common with sex. There is, no, you know, you both don't even think about the sex. But the people, those who look at you both, because you both are walking together, talking together, eating together, laughing together. People may judge that, uh, you know, your relationship is a bad relationship. But in fact, you know that it is not. It is a soulmate. Everyone loves to be with that person because when, when I am in tear, someone is there to wipe me. When I want to cry, there is a shoulder. You know, everyone loves to have this relationship. But unfortunately, the second one also will not last. One fine day, that relationship also will break. That is always. You know, uh, the soulmate is sent by the God or sent by the nature to make you the best version of you by helping you, uh, you know, by teaching you how can you be a better person on earth. Then she asked me, what, what about the third one? I said, before jumping into third one, remember the second person, if that person left you, there will be a deep scar and pain in your heart and that will remain throughout your life till the last breath because you will never find out such person in your life again. And the third one is after your college, you will get a job or career and you will work and earn and you have a thinking to settle your life. 
that time you will find out a boy or a girl and you will take a decision that I am going to leave this boy or with this girl throughout my life. It is a decision, it is not an emotional feeling, it is a strong decision which you take. And many times people take a decision, I need this boy or I need this girl with the emotional feeling like, oh, he knows how to sing well, so I love him. But tomorrow he may lose his voice. Oh, this guy has a good muscles, I love him. Tomorrow he may get cancerous. We can't predict. So by looking at the quality and quantity of a person, if you laugh, that is not going to last ever. But you must take a decision. Love is always a decision. Romance is a response towards uh, some talents or beauty or character. That is romance. But the love is a decision which you take that I am going to live with this boy until my last breath. Whether he is good or bad, whether he is healthy or unhealthy, whether he is rich or poor. I am going to live this, with this boy or with this girl. That is the third one. That is committed love. And I said, I don't know, if you can find that one, you are lucky. But remember, for some people, it is only 2% of the people on earth. They will find a boy or girl when they are in school, 7th standard or 8th standard. And they will continue that love till the college. And from the college, that love becomes a soulmate. And after the college, they will take a committed life and that same person will become three. It is the lust relationship and the passion relationship and the committed relationship. All three can become one. In my case, the first love was only a lust love. I lost it. But the second one whom I love, who could uh, uh, find out the best version in me, I married her and she is your mother, Gigi. Many times Gigi suffered a lot to make me a best version of Mario. That is, it is a luck. No, it is not luck. It is a blessing from Almighty. Some people, they will get the committed love as a soulmate. If you can get that one, your life is successful. So again, I want to tell all my parents, my brothers and sisters, if you have a daughter, if you have a son who is teenager and suffering with this love crisis, Please explain to them about these three stages of love so that they will be prepared when they are in schooling itself. Okay, this relationship is only a lust that is going to uh, die very soon. The second, oh, this is only a compassionate one that also is going to end. So I need a relationship with commitment. That is the third one. And very rarely all three will be for some people. But for some people like me, two will be together. So may Almighty God bless you and peace be with you.